Yes, I'm back. And right now I'm talking about this St. Louis, excuse me, St. Paul, Minnesota brother who was wrongfully uh, targeted and attacked by race soldiers. And they beat the brakes off this brother and, and set the uh, police dog on him, sick the police dog on him. But um, let's go ahead and roll the clip. I'm releasing this video today because it's the right thing to do. Doing the right thing is often not easy when it means admitting doing something wrong. The St. Paul's police chief, I'm disappointed and upset by what the video shows. As a person who deeply cares about this community and our department, I'm profoundly saddened. Saddened not just by the excessive uses of force on an innocent man, but for the scars. I took the back and put it in the front. They left behind. It's still no. This is what Frank is Baker's leg looks like after more than four months of healing. God you can imagine damn. that while that was occurring, uh, following simple instructions might have been difficult. But because he couldn't follow instructions while being bitten, he then endured multiple kicks from an officer, resulting in multiple broken ribs. It collapsed twice on this side. Mm. That's why they went in the second time. After this incident, I met with the man who was injured in the video while he was still in the hospital. He's very sincere. In that meeting, Frank says the chief promised a full investigation. So, during a summer in which his story could have led to even more violence, he decided to wait for answers. There was absolutely no pressure to rush the decision to rush the investigation. The uses of force have to be reasonable, necessary, and done with respect. And when that doesn't occur, we're going to take decisive action. Today that action came, along with an apology. I apologized, and I believe in my heart that he uh, truly appreciated that that apology. He meant a whole lot. The apology did. You know, he apologized to me you know, for the uh, police force, and I thought that was super cool. It simply isn't the St. Paul way. Because it's not the St. Paul way. And I was just, I was just happy, man, that he, he did it like that. It was the right thing to do. And I believe in law enforcement, we have to do a little bit more of that from time to time. When we don't get things right, we have to own it. We have to be transparent. And we have to apologize. Yeah, that's utter bullshit. Talking about we have to do what's right time for time. Time for time. No, you need to do what's right all the fucking time. Number one. Number two, this innocent brother unfortunately got caught in slave patrol. But like the video stated, he wasn't the suspect they were looking for. This is what will happen to you 400 years ago on a plantation. If you were a free, quote unquote, free Melanoid person, or if masses sent you to go do something, and other masters having to be looking for another slave that escaped or gave master extra lip or did something they felt was wrong. You would be the one to get beat, lynched. Thankfully, this brother didn't get killed. And he says, another video I was listening to about it, he says he appreciates the apology, but he still is going to um, pursue the press charges. Uh, not press charges, um sue the city. So that's not even coming out of the police department's pocket. It's coming out of taxpayers' pocket, which that needs to change, and money needs to be taken from the police force. And or the race soldiers uh, checks who did this to this non brother. This is sad, man. You guys gotta check the video in the description. They man, this brother's leg is messed up. They, that dog, them, y'all know. I ain't never been bit by a German Shepherd, but the motherfuckers is vicious. Broke his ribs. They don't roll up on white suspects and do that. They only do it to uh, melanoid people, and they do it to the elderly. Cause this brother looked like he's uh maybe in his forties. Late 40s, mid 40s. Also, in another video I was looking about the situation, it says one of the brave soldiers was suspended from the force. Didn't say if it was a, a minister.
good pay to leave, which I'm sure it was. And it said the other race soldiers who were involved are going to be a part of the investigate. They're going to be investigated, which is bullshit. Once again, saying we're just going to think of a lie to put out on why they decided to beat the shit out this innocent, well knowing man, and they're going to stay on the force and there's nothing you can do about it. But, <clears throat> like I said before, I'm glad his brother didn't uh, lose his life because all that abuse, he could have had a stroke or a heart attack. Blood pressure could have went up. You, you don't know what. His lung could have collapsed from the kicks and punches to the broken ribs he uh, received. All types of shit. But um, let me know what y'all think about the story. Like I said, articles in the description. Get in the comments. Like, subscribe. Share the video.